Mexico Unified School District Board President, Ms. Marty Foster. First of all, I want to thank the leadership of the local San Diego chapter of the NAACP in participating in this historical event in this march. And I want to salute and thank everyone for participating and supporting. I would like to remind the community the words of the great theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer that the test of morality of a society is how well we treat our children. There are several trends in education that negatively impact children of color. Growing rates of poverty coupled with inadequate school funding, the resegregation of schools by race and class with a preponderance of teachers that lack the cultural proficiency to connect to manifesting the high expectations that we should have for all students. Underrepresentation of students of color in advanced placement courses over and overrepresentation of students in special education tracks, lack of access to enrichment and character building programs, lack of access to A through G courses that prepare and transition students to college, no child left behind high stakes testing and high dropout and push out, what I would call push out rates because it's incumbent upon us to create the conditions where all students succeed. Disproportionate suspension and expulsion rates among African American students, and we still have the challenge of transitioning our students to higher education. According to President Obama's 2015 report, My Brother's Keeper, only 20.8% of African American males ages 25 to 29 have a college degree. And the majority of African American males that start, start college do not finish, 65.8%. Now I'm a single mother of three young African American males that are in college right now. And I understand too well the plight of young males of color in similar situations. While San Diego Unified School District is committed to social justice and restorative practices, equity, access, and inclusion Yay. for all, we still have more to do. But what I want to share with you is some significant accomplishments. The establishment of an office of student advocacy which lives in there the work and the pledges, the, resolu the resolutions that we've led around positive behavior support interventions and restorative practices as a preferred method of discipline, which should be to teach, not to punish, and to ensure that students stay in school and not disproportionately expelled and suspended out of school. That's significant. We have pledged to becoming a restorative district. That means wellness hubs that have wraparound services connecting and collaborating with this notion of collective impact for students. Being able to reach them at their point of need is significant. This is the thought this is the action that goes in the, the Office of Student Advocacy. We're also talking about cultural proficiency and putting that into action with training in and outside of San Diego Unified and collaborating with national leadership, the National Equity Project, to make sure that at the highest levels of San Diego Unified that we understand what it means to be culturally proficient and connecting with our students and their families and the larger communities that we serve. Why is this significant? I'll give you an example. In District E and the subset, the sub-district that I represent, 
90% of the families are families of poverty. 90% of the students. 40% are English as second language learners. And we have the highest concentration of foster youth congregated in District E of the entire city. So when we talk about meeting the needs, and when we're talking about restorative practice, when we talk about cultural proficiency, when we talk about ethnic studies, which ensures that students walk with their backs straight because they understand the rich cultural heritage that they come from, this is significant. This is transformational. When we are talking about the personalization of education, when we're talking about career and technical education and giving students the opportunity to leave to learn. That means internships. And so what I'm saying here today is that we are on the right path and we need everyone to stand with us. When we're talking about jobs and internships, that means collaboration with corporations, organizations, and community. When we're talking about character development programs, that means that we are partnering with community and best practices. It is not about I, it's a not, not about you, it's about we, and us standing together to make the change, not for some, but for all. What does it look like? It looks like parents. It looks like corporations. It looks like faith-based faith -based organizations. It looks like neighbors. Each one, reach one, teach one. Standing in the gap, understanding that each child is your child, is our child. And lastly, I'd like to say that it's better to educate a child than to repair a broken man. That, those are the words of Fred, that's right, of Frederick Douglass. Education really is, folks, the great equalizer. Education really is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. That, those are the words of Nelson Mandela, but I'll leave you with this to personalize it because we need to personalize education. Ah. Education is the most powerful weapon that you can use, that we can use, to change our homes, our schools, our communities, our city, our state, our nation, and as a result, the world. Thank you in advance for what you're going to do.